We're going to do a little basic tutorial on linking, both internal and external. And as usual, I've set something up. I've got two pages. I've got one I called index, and I named linking tutorial. On here we have an internal menu, home and about, and something to identify this as home. And a button we're going to use right here for external linking. We have a second page about, let's click over there, menu and about. So let's go back to our index page and get started. So I'm going to click home. The first thing I want to do is change the cursor. So I'm going to come over here to where it's auto and grab the finger. Done. I'm going to do that for the about as well. Done. And I'll do this for our external button and change that. Now the reason we change that of course is to give people the signal that there's some kind of something to click. So I'm going to click the home button and we're going to use the snippets. Now there's several ways to get to the uh, code window. There's window code and you'll note that nothing's there so we would have to find it. There is also the control click. If I control, control click on a word open actions for home menu and then on either the timeline or the elements package there's the little curly braces and if you click in there it also opens the menu so I'm going to drag this over first what do we want to do we want to click we want to link now when we're internal we want to link in the same window and this is internal so we're going to click that because this is navigation between one page and another in a website and it's the home button, so that would be index.html. So that one's done. Notice it opens, like I said, in itself. Okay, let's click the About button, do the same thing. Let's get there by menu, so we'll go um, Code Window, Code. And how we do that is we would press click, and then we're going to go Elements, and then we're going to pick the About menu, and then we want Click. That's a lot of work, but notice that there's no snippets here. Now we happen to know that we could come over here and we could copy window open. We could do this. That's one way to do it, or you'd have to memorize it. In this case, it would be about.html. Okay, that's another way of getting there. Let's save it. Notice, see this little star up here? That means it hasn't been saved, so let's save it. And let's jump over to the about and do the same thing. So we've got about, and I'm going to control click to open that up. See, we got all three in. And I'll move this over. Plus, click, links, same window. you got to admit this is faster. And that's index.html. So that one's done. And let's just get in between the curly braces here. We'll move this up plus click links same window and that would be about dot html now we're going to go test it so let's save it and let's jump to index and we'll go command return we'll open our browser and if we click about now the one thing about testing in the preview is this doesn't always work very fast it may take quite a while or not at all so what I've learned to do when I want to test internal links is I don't even use this method. I know you're thinking, well, why did you show it to us? Well, there's a reason. So I'm going to go Finder, Finder, and I'm going to open my index page, and I'm going to roll over About. Notice the finger changed. I'll click it, and it jumped right over. This is the About page. And if I click Home, oh, I didn't change this over here. i got to go back and do that. Click that, and yes, we're at Home. So the linking works just as we thought the internal linking and I'm gonna go over I should have changed this this is bad this is change this cursor to a finger and we'll do the same thing on the home button and we'll change that to a finger so just to make sure consistency back to the index page now what if we want to go outside our in our website we want to go somewhere else well I created a button right here and I'm going to come over here in between the curly braces. And notice I group these together. So click, click, and I'll move this over for you. 
links. We can still use this. We want it in a new window. And now you have to put the full website in. Now I happen to know that this is C Parkinson Media. Make sure I spell it right. C P A R K I N S O M M E D I A dot com. It's going to open in its own window. That's so you know underscore blank means its own window. And let's go test that. Command return. And this you can test. So you just click. And uh, there we go. And see Parkinson Media. And let it load. And here you go. Really nice website. And a little uh, time lapse movie running. So that's how you do linking inside of. Uh, using the edge snippets and doing an internal and external link.